Hi, I am Rashani DeBell, and you are learning algebra. Hi, everybody. In today's lesson, we are going to learn about special types of linear systems. Let's go ahead and get started. In previous lessons, we have learned that there is one solution to a linear system. This is where the two lines intersect, as we see in this graph over here. In this lesson, we will learn about two other possible solutions for linear system. There is a no solution, which occurs when you have two parallel lines. In this case over here, you have the same slope in the linear system, but the y-intercept is different. We also have infinitely many solutions. In this case, the two lines coincide or lay on top of each other. The linear system have the same equations, meaning they have the same y-intercept and the same slope. Now let's take a look at some examples. In this equation, we are asked to show that the linear system has no solutions graphically. We are given the equations negative 6x plus 2y equals negative 8 and negative 3x plus y equals 7. We are going to start by writing these equations in slope-intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. So I'm going to start by adding 6x on both sides. I now have 2y is equal to 6x minus 8. Isolate my y by dividing everything by 2 and simplifying. 2 divided by 2 is 1, 1 times y is y. 6 divided by 2 is 3, 3 times x is 3x, negative 8 divided by 2 is negative 4. This means my slope m is the number by x which is 3 over 1 I have a positive slope with a rise of 3 and a run of 1. My y-intercept b is at negative 4. This means I'm going to start my graph at y equals negative 4, the rise of 3 going up by 3 because it's a positive slope, 1, 2, 3 over 1. Going up by 3, 1, 2, 3 over 1, up 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 1, 2, 3, over 1. Now that I have a path, let's go down to 1, 2, 3, 1, 1, 2, 3, 1. Connect our dots. Going to rewrite my second equation in slope-intercept form. Add 3x on both sides, and you get y is equal to 3x plus 7. In this equation, my slope, m, is the number by x, which is 3 over 1, where my rise is 3 and my run is 1. y-intercept is positive 7. Notice that my slope for both equations is the same. It has a rise of 3 and a run of 1. My y-intercepts, on the other hand, are different. This equation has a y-intercept of negative 4. This equation has a y-intercept of 7. So we're going to graph this. This equation starts at positive 7, rise of 3, 1, 2, 3, run of 1. You can make a path down to 1, 2, 3, 1, 1, 2, 3, 1, 1, 2, 3, 1. 1, 2, 3, 1, 1, 2, 3, 1, and connect the dots. And you can see that t these two graphs are parallel. The lines will never intersect, and therefore you have no solution. We are now asked to show that the linear system from our previous example has no solutions algebraically. Looking at these two equations, I can see that in my second equation, my y variable over here has a coefficient of 1. 
This means I'm going to use the method of substitution in order to solve this equation. I'm going to do this by isolating my y, and in order to do that, I'm going to add 3x on both sides, and I get y is equal to positive 3x plus 7. I'm now going to take this equation and where y is in my first equation, I am going to plug in 3x plus 7. So let's do that. Negative 6x plus 2 times 3x plus 7 equals negative 8. And we are going to solve for x. Start by distributing my 2 to get rid of the parentheses. So I've got negative 6x plus 6x. 2 times 7 is 14 equals negative 8. Combine my like terms. Negative 6x plus 6x is 0. Plus 14 is negative 8. 0 plus 14 is 14, which is not equal to negative 8. Since we have a, an equation where we have one side not equal to the other, this is a no solution system. In this example, we are asked to show the linear system has many solutions graphically. We are given the equations negative x plus 2y equals negative 2 and 3x minus 6y equals 6. We're going to start by writing each equation in slope-intercept form. Going to start by adding x on both sides. We are left with 2y is equal to x minus 2. Isolate your y by dividing everything by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 1 times y is y. 1 divided by 2 is 1 half times x is 1 half x. Negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. And then we have a slope of 1 half. It is always a number by x. And your y-intercept b is negative 1. So starting at negative 1, we are going to rise 1, run 2, rise 1, run 2, rise 1, run 2, rise 1, run 2, rise 1, run 2. Go ahead and do the same this way. 1, 2, 1. 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. Connect the dots. Going to do the same with the second equation. Start by subtracting 3x. Get negative 6y is equal to negative 3x plus 6. Isolate your variable by dividing everything by negative 6. Negative 6 divided by negative 6 is 1. 1 times y is y. Negative 3 divided by negative 6 is a positive 1 half x. Positive 6 divided by negative 6 is negative 1. We have a slope of 1 half. Rise is 1. Run is 2. Remember this 1 half is the number by x. b is negative 1, the number by itself. Notice that in this system, both the slope and the y-intercept for both equations are the same. So here the slope and the y-intercept is the same as the slope and y-intercept. So slope is 1 half, y-intercept is negative 1. So when we graph it, these graphs are going to be right on top of each other. So starting at negative 1, rise of 2, run of 1, rise of 2, run of 1, rise of 2, run of 1, and going all the way. As you can see, these two lines lie right on top of each other. Therefore, in this system, our solution is any point on this line. For example, we could have negative 2 and 2 as our solution. We could have 0 and um, negative 1. We could have 2 and 0. We could have 4 and 1. Any point that lies on this line is our solution, and therefore this means we have many solutions to our system.
In this example, we are asked to prove that the linear system has many solutions algebraically. This system is the same as our last system that we just showed graphically. The equation is negative x plus 2y equals negative 2 and 3x minus 6y equals 6. To solve this linear system, I am going to use combinations. I can see that I have a negative x and a positive x over here, but in order to eliminate my x's, I need to also have the same coefficient, just a positive of it and a negative of it, which means since I have a positive 3x over here, I need to have a negative 3x over here in order to add these two equations and eliminate my x's. To do that, I am going to multiply my first equation by 3 and when I do that I get 3 times negative x is negative 3x, 3 times positive 2y is positive 6y, and 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Haven't done anything with my second equation so I'm just going to rewrite that. This is 3x minus 6y equals 6 and now since I have a negative 3x and a positive 3x I can add these two equations and when I do that negative 3x plus 3x is 0 positive 6y minus 6y is 0 negative 6 plus 6 is 0 and since we have both sides of the equation equal to each other this system has many solutions And that concludes our lesson on special types of linear systems. Thanks for watching.